Yo, what is up guys, it is Fully Spaced here and today I'll be showing you how to make a small enchanting house. This is a really cool little design that I've come up with and I think you guys will really enjoy it. So first off we start with a basic uh, square shape and then a slanted roof and then we build it into another building. Uh, I will actually give you the floor plan in the description, if you just look in the description there will be a picture of the floor plan for this build uh, and you will see how to build it. So then uh, once I build the second building, I start by adding stone, different kinds of stone and cobblestone to match it and just finish it off with a, fruit, uh, finish it off with a few oak uh, pillars inside the right hand wall. From here on, I usually start with the roof, I like to start with the roof as one of my uh, second things to do just so I can get the full shape of the house. Uh, I actually went on the outline with cobblestone and then on the inside I added spruce. Uh, spruce stairs just to give it a bit more detail so the outside of the roof will be cobblestone and then start adding windows and start messing around with fence and spruce trap doors as an idea so i get, tried to uh, playing around with that and i've actually left it like that because i like it it looks uh, very old and abandoned so i've left it like that i uh, then began to play around with fences all the way around the edge of the building just to bring it out a bit more and give it a bit more detail So as you can see we have a pretty basic house right now and uh, it's just all about adding details so I go around and add a few bushes and things to the outside and just make it look like it's more abandoned and a bit more like someone used to live here. Start to overgrown, add a few paths in and just fix the outline of the small roof that I'd done first. I then head over on the inside and began to do a bit of inside work. As you can see here, I added the enchanting room with a bookshelf in the corner there and then added an upstairs area and on the bottom there you can see I fit all the chests in. Uh, up the top I actually have some grindstones with lantern songs just hanging from the ceiling. I then added a fence to the top area and began adding a few little chests and things upstairs. Uh, went along with placing carpets down below just to give the room a bit more detail and added an anvil because it's pretty crucial to the build. I then started playing around with a door idea, gave up with that and added a few little pieces just by the front door there. I then headed back outside and decided to add a bit more detail to the build, adding some slabs into the build just so it looks like the building is cracking a bit and just going around the outside with barrels, roses, oak, leaves, uh, vines and just extending the path and then building some f stone brick. Uh, cobblestone walls with lanterns on top and then adding some slabs to create like a path or a section slash area surrounding the house that would look like it's owned by that house. Then start adding some overgrown crops just to make it look like no one's been here for a while. And then started playing around with this little pillar here just so I could add an enchanting thing so people would know by looking at it it's an enchanting uh, house. I started playing around with the roof here as well, just to slightly bring it over a bit, just so there's a bit more overhang, but only on that corner. I went to the roof and just added a bit more detail, with a staircase at the end and a bunch of slabs halfway between with one space between them. As you can see now we have a pretty nice little design, and we're now going to head over to the outside where I add a bit more detail to the actual outside of the base. I added a little cart here just to look like it's been dropping some stuff off uh, with a few hay bales. So it looks like uh, someone has just come here in the cart just to drop a few things off. I've got a bunch of barrels outside that looks like they've been delivered. As you can see now I'm playing around with coral. You can use coral to look like berries and things. Uh, I extended the path here and uh, headed on over towards the door again and added a yellow coral block with a spruce trap door on it to make it look like a barrel of honey and then just played around by adding a few hay bales inside the little area that I have. And uh, that is pretty much everything. I just come around the outside here just to add a little bench for you to sit by when you're at the uh, little pond. And as you can see, this is a cute little house. So now this is just going to be a little showcase of the inside and outside of the house. Uh, I'm just going to walk around it for you guys just so you can see what's going on. So we have a little basic back door area here. We're really nice and little, you know, cool down spot if you ever just want to take time to chill on the day. 
Uh, you've got a bunch of barrels and things outside the store. It just looks like it just makes the building look more used. There's the barrel of honey there. And if we head over inside, I actually added a cauldron in here with a campfire underneath. I've got a brewing stand on top of the crafting bench now. And then this is your chest room here. And obviously from here you can go upstairs and you have your enchanting room there. So let's go upstairs. Uh, I added a chest at the top here. Grindstone with a lantern on top just as a light source. There's a pot on, on top of a stair there. A uh, bed and your armor stand and then a chest. Really simple things and uh, things that you really need when playing your standard version of Minecraft. And that is pretty much it. Such a simple and unique build but I absolutely love it. It's really cool and it definitely uh, serve, serves its purpose as an enchanting house. It does look really old and ancient like it's been there for a while. And it's just like a really cool little unique house. I really like the little uh, entrance to it. Obviously where I've added slabs you can see here that um, you can just access your chest through windows and through slabs. But that doesn't matter too much. This just symbolizes that it's an enchanting house here. That's why I've left it hanging out by one. So it looks like one of those old signs. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more. And peace. Hope you guys enjoyed.